get ready with me while I tell you about this double date I went on this weekend. This weekend was so fun. I literally hung out with so many different people. So this weekend, I went to this guy's house two times, but it was with like a bunch of friends and it was honestly so fun. One of the days, it was literally just like me and my sister and then all these guys, but they're like our guy friends. We don't like any of them. And they were literally boxing. It was like the funniest thing I've ever seen. And when they were boxing, two of the guys actually got really mad at each other because one of them punched the other one in the dick. And he literally started like yelling and threw his gloves and they were like actually about to fight. But me and my sister were literally on the floor dying laughing because it was so funny. So on Monday, I was going to go over to my friend's house. But then this guy that like, he's not my crush anymore, but I do think he's cute. He texted me and said, we're going to pick you up to go play pickleball. And I was like, okay, come pick me up, right? And then they never picked me up. I'm like, okay, whatever, right? I'm not going to play pickleball with them, so what? So then this one girl texts me and asks me to go on a double date with her. So she texts me and she's like, what are you doing right now? I'm like, nothing. And she's like, this guy asked me to go out with him and to bring a friend. And she was like, do you want to go? And I was like, I mean, why not? Like, I have nothing else better to do. So I said yes. But I did have to lie about my age because this guy ended up being 18. I'm literally 15. But I just said I was 17 and stuff. And it ended up actually being really, really fun. So we ended up going to this really nice steakhouse on the strip. And it literally was so fun. The dinner was, like, really, really nice. And then after that, we went on the high roller. It's, like, this giant ferris wheel in vegas and it like overlooks the strip and it was like really luxurious like that was like basically the first day i've ever been on and it actually was like really really fun it's gonna be hard to top i feel like for teenage boys and me and my friend didn't have to pay for anything which was super super sweet because the guy that my friend went with paid for everything and don't worry guys me and this 18 year old did not kiss that definitely would have been way too much of an age gap for me but it ended up being really fun still so since Pineapple didn't pick me up to go play pickleball with them, I was like, okay, I'm not going to hang out with him today. So I was like, yeah, I'll go to the double date with you. But then one hour before the double date, Josh, not the guy, literally texts me and he's like, we're coming to pick you up. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, we're going swimming at Pineapple's house. I'm like, no, I can't get my like hair wet or whatever. He's like, I don't care. I'm coming to pick you up. So they pick me up. and I literally tell them I can't get my face or my hair wet because I'm going on like this double date thing right after. And they're like, well, too bad. So they literally splashed me and I was soaking wet. But then I was just like, whatever. So then we, we were playing like basketball and like doing flips into the pool. And I ended up being drenched. Like I was literally doing flips off this guy's like shoulders. It was actually really funny. There's like a video of it, but he won't send it to me for some reason, which was which is so annoying. But I ended up being really drenched before the date and I was like, shit, I only have 30 minutes to get ready. So I was rushing home and then I had to speed get ready and literally like take a shower, do my makeup, dry my hair. I was going so fast. And when I was driving home from the guy's house, my friend was already at my house. Literally, I felt so bad because she had to wait out there for me. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. My leggings are from Lululemon, my top is from Lululemon, my sports bra is from Lululemon, my shoes are Air Forces, my earrings I think are TJ Maxx, and then my necklace is Kendra Scott. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching, I love you all so much. Get ready with me for bed again. Let's go take a shower, because despite the fact that I keep washing my hair, people keep telling me it's greasy. Who's greasy now? Yeah. This dude is literally obsessed with me. <sighs> I'm clean. Again. So I'm gonna do my skincare, but I also have a little bit of a story time for you guys. First, let's make a skincare smoothie. That did not come out right. I'm adding hyaluronic acid, and I'm adding this glow oil. It's all mixed. Literally just a little bit goes such a long way. Okay, so yesterday when I was on the way to school, I was on the bridge because I live on an island. And this one dude was like tailgating me, so I slowed down because he was being annoying. So he passes me, and I think that's that, right? Wrong. Well, he gets behind this guy that was next to me going even slower than I was. So he's literally sitting next to me, and I didn't notice because I wasn't like paying attention to this dude. Until I start seeing him giving me some like choice gestures and trying to like shoo me away so he can like get out like in front of me. And so like finally I merge into like the next lane because I couldn't really do anything like at that point. And I was turning anyway, so we're at like a stoplight and he rolls down his window and he starts screaming at me. 
And he had some very choice things to say that I'm not gonna say on TikTok. I legit thought this guy was gonna follow me. Next we have this. Needless to say, not a fun drive to school. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for the 100,000 views. That was insane. I've literally never gotten that many views before. Anyways, I'm done with my skincare. Bye guys. Hey guys, get rid of me while I tell you guys a story time on how me and my mom thought the house was getting broken into. Okay, so it was just a random weekday. Let's say it was a Monday. I'm not really sure what day it was but it was a weekday and we were just chilling i had just um been in my room and usually at nighttime i always go into my mom's room to just chill with her because that is my bestie so we were just chilling and we heard like we were in her room so i was chilling in my room at first and then i went to her room so i can chill with her so we were in her room we were just talking about life and everything then we heard this big bang like it sounded like <laughs> like that okay so we heard like a big big bang and we were like what is that like is everything okay like, like what's happening me and my mom were so nervous like we we didn't know what to do but immediately my mom just closed her door and locked it like closed it and locked it okay so right when she closed it and locked it i started to like freak out a little bit because i was like like, what was that? Were we just hearing our own things? Are we just paranoid? I don't know. Because my mom watches a lot of, like, crime TV. Like, she's, like, very much into, like, Law & Order. No, not Law & Order. What am I saying? She's very much into crime. Like, crime TV shows, crime, everything. So, we were so nervous and we actually thought it was real. So, right when we heard just a big bang, we just thought of the worst, not the, the best out of the situation. <laughs> Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, right when we heard that bang, we thought of the worst. So my mom immediately shut the door, locked it, and we were just standing there in fear and wondering what we should do. My brother, let me just tell you who was like, what was happening at first. My brother was in her room, sleeping in her bed, and my stepdad was out at work. So it was literally just basically me and my mom against whoever was in our house, which was scary. Okay, so we were nervous. Mason, my brother, was sleeping, so... It was just, uh, at least he was not awake. We were happy that he was not awake because if he was, he would have been freaking out as much as we were. So immediately we thought, call 911. My mom told me to do it and I was so nervous, like, because she was just thinking of, like, what to do, like, if the person were to come upstairs to her room. So she was thinking of that while I was calling 911. Sorry if my face is so oily. It's because literally this stuff is so good. You need to try the bubble moisturizer and the um, the bronzy by Drunk Elephant. Okay, anyways. So basically, she was trying to figure it out while um, I was calling 911. So then at least we're not just focused on one thing and we can just get it done. Because she was trying to think of like, what if they came upstairs what would we do? We jump out the window. Would we run? Would we stay in there? Like, what would we do? Which obviously was so frightening because, um, I'm obviously super scared to call nine one one, and I like, I only like have watched nine one one calls on like on TV or like just in a like crime video. So like, the call was like so scary to me, and it made me feel so m more scared because this is like real, like. There's someone in our house. So anyways, I call them and they're like, hi, like, what's happening? Da -da -da. So I tell them, they ask for the address. I tell them, they said that somebody's coming. So the lady that's on the phone stays on the phone with us. And we literally are just still scared. Like, we're just like, what? Like, I was on the phone, like, my phone, like, my hand was shaking. I was like, oh my God, okay. Like, we were just staying on the phone with her. We, I was looking out the window while on the phone with her, just waiting for the police to come to our house. Okay, so, yeah, I was waiting outside for the police to come to our house, and finally they ended up coming. I heard the, like, the sirens, obviously, and th it was two cops that came to my house. There were two guys. They were so nice and so sweet. They were just making sure that we were okay, and we were just so scared. Like, we still were on the phone with the lady until the lady that was on the phone that picked up the 911 call was still on the phone until the people got into our house. Okay, so then they were just, like, looking outside the perimeter of the house when they got here um, because they were 
first of all, making sure that there was nobody outside and making sure that there's no one's car outside. Like, the, making sure that there was no one in the house, basically. Then they had to get in, but that would make us, first of all, unlock my mom's door and go downstairs to open the door. Which means if they were in the house, yeah, it would be scary. But right when they were about to come to the house, my stepdad pulls up. Mind you, we had not called my stepdad. We had not texted him or anything because we were just focusing on how to either get out or how to how the police were like gonna save us so right when they were trying to get into the house and we were thinking of how we're gonna open the door and get out the room um my stepdad pulls up and he's basically asking the cops like what's happening because he had absolutely no clue then my they inform my stepdad and my stepdad obviously has the key to our house so he opens the door for the cops he opens the door and they now start searching all downstairs and making sure that there's nobody inside the house. Because they had just checked outside, so now they're checking inside. So, they're checking inside and they like didn't see anything broken. There was nobody in the house, thank God. But me and my mom were still scared, so we were still staying in the room until the cops gave us the clear to go downstairs. And gave us the clear that there was literally nobody in our house. <laughs> but once we got that clear we were literally thanking god because we were so scared like you guys don't understand it was just me and my mom in the house my brother was sleeping my stepdad was not home like we were home alone and we were so frightened they gave us the clear and they were looking around the whole house they looked upstairs um they looked downstairs and there was nothing like nothing had even fell or like broken or anything like there was no sign of what made that noise so they were looking whatever and then they were like okay like they were happy that my stepdad was home because obviously we were nervous and we're two like women so like who's gonna save us and who's gonna take care of us like when they leave because like obviously we're still frightened but now that the, my stepdad was home they were good they left and they knew that there was nobody in the house and nothing had broken so it was good but then right after they leave we're still looking around to like see like what fell like or what broke because obviously there's no one in the house so what fell what broke what happened literally what happened and while i was looking or well, while my stepdad me and my mom were looking in the bathroom we found that it was just my mom's razor in her bathroom literally just her razor in her in her like shower <laughs> that story to this day has me dying but also wanting to cry because what we were freaking out because of something that was literally like five feet away from us because we were in my mom's room when we heard the bang and the bang came from her bathroom which is in her room oh my god i'm so embarrassed for us but also just laughing at us because what but i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me i am ready i'm going to my mom my aunt's little cookout for memorial day i hope you have a great sunday and i hope you love this story time and comment down below if i should do more bye loves Hello guys, what's poppin? Brand new whip just hopped in. Get ready with me while I tell you guys a very scary story time. My favorite game to play on Roblox is Natural Disaster Survival. But just because I like the game doesn't mean I wanna play an in-life simulation of it, which is basically what I got last week. So here's a story time about how I got stuck outside during a tornado last week. I was at the library because obviously I'm a very exciting person. Da da da, I'm doing my work and I like to face the window when I do my work because I like to people watch and all of a sudden it was a really sunny day and it suddenly turned like super dark and then it started thundering raining like raining really hard <laughs> a couple minutes go by and then I hear ur, 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 tornado warning coming from my phone and from everybody else's phone and from the TV so I'm like oh okay we're getting a tornado and like where I am tornadoes are like not that uncommon like it does happen like sometimes so I'm like okay so i keep doing my work and then all of a sudden like the power goes out like the workers were just like okay everybody like sit still like it's okay it's good. i'm next to the carpet and then the carpet starts flooding water on the carpet like seeping through so basically i was just like oh let me move because i have like i have like my laptop and my ipad and all my notes so i was like okay i'm gonna move so i don't get like drowned so i'm on this side and i walk around to like the whole other side by the way they had locked the doors so like nobody could get out I literally forgot to put my concealer on. <sighs> okay, it's okay, whatever. Basically, then the two workers come up to me. I'm like the only one here because I can't drive myself home because first of all, I only have my permit. Second of all, my mom drove me there, so. A girl working there comes up to me and she's like, we're actually gonna close now. And I'm like, what do you mean? You're not closing without me. Just kidding, I didn't actually say that, but I was like, um, what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, we're gonna go home now. I'm like, oh, 
I was like the only one there. <coughs> Sorry, I was literally like, okay, then where should I go? I was like, do you just want me to like stand outside? And they were like, yeah, you can go, you can stand outside. I'm like, it's a tornado, furniture is flying outside, but branches are flying outside. So I go and I like, they close up and they like, I'm standing outside in a tornado. I literally call my mom and I'm like, I'm standing outside in the tornado. And she's like, she's literally like, what? So obviously she drops everything and she comes to get me. The people working there couldn't have just like stayed with me until my mom came, really. When I was outside, a tree branch literally almost hit me. Like I was do like pfft, dodging stuff. Like, but then my mom picked me up and she got me McDonald's and I had a really good burger and fries. But guys, you let me know if you've ever like been in a natural disaster or like in a flood or a tornado or a hurricane or earthquake, whatever, because those are really scary. Here's a shout out to three of my Instagram followers. Good morning, y'all. Get ready with me. I'm gonna brush up my hair because it looks absolutely like horrific. Okay, my hair's all brushed out and crazy looking. So I'm just gonna clip it back. Probably wondering what is on my head. It's a little piece of like a charcoal face mask because I was starting to get a pimple there, so I'm trying to prevent it. Now we have to see if it's actually gone. It's not gone, but it's definitely smaller. Now I'm gonna put my earrings. Earrings are in. Now I'm gonna use my puff peptide cream and my Fonzie drops. One thing I hate about my school is that every single morning when we get to school, we have to read um, a book for 35 minutes. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have to read a book when we get to school, and then Tuesdays we have to do a math program. So it's not very fun. Speaking of math in school, I had a math test yesterday. I just checked if my math test grades in. It's not. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish my makeup, then I'm gonna come back. And also, I don't know why I look so orange right now. Okay, makeup's all done. Now I'm gonna go and pick out an outfit. Okay, now I'm all dressed. Don't mind the hair because I'm gonna curl it. But we have to pick out one necklace I want to wear and bracelets. I'm going to wear this purple Kendra. Now bracelets. Okay, my hair's all done. I have to go to school in like 10 minutes. So we're not doing bracelets today. That makes me very sad, but I think I might change my top actually because... I'm going to be so cool with this blush. I'm wearing this jacket, but it does not look good with this. Okay, I changed my outfit. And now I'm going to pick out shoes and then I'll give a fit check. So my top is from Target, my jeans are from Zara, my necklace is from Kendra, and then I'm going to wear these, um, like, yellow Nike Converse, or Nike Converse, or what? Platform Converse. Okay, bye. Get rid of me, as I think that's a story of how I got food poisoning from my lunch like the school lunch in pre-k i don't know why i'm telling this story but we're gonna tell the story okay so it's like a normal day at school you know i was just having a little fun with my pre-k friends i still remember the story i still remember the story like it was yesterday but like i was having a little fun with my pre-k friends and stuff like that and like we had just got out of class after learning our one two three so she was like, the teacher was like, okay kids, time for lunch. And at the time I was eating school lunch. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm hungry. Like I felt perfectly fine, no stomach or nothing. So I decided to get one of the school hot dogs. It had ketchup and mustard on it and I ate that thing up. Like I wasn't that hungry now. And I think I had like a bag of chips with it. So, yeah. Big mistake. Anyways, so like after lunch, like after my hot dog, that hot dog is, no. So after that hot dog, I started to feel a little woozy. I was like, let me demonstrate. <laughs> like that. And um, I was starting to feel sick. Like, I started to get, like, a stomach in my stomach, but I thought nothing about it. I was like, you know what? I'm fine. And, you know, elementary school, they take you to recess right after lunch. You don't even give your food time to digest. So, we went to recess, and I was running around making it worse, sir.
So after we was done with recess, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, baby, you not fine. You about to hurt. But anyway, so in pre-K, I don't know if it's y'all, we had recess and then we got back inside and we had like another playtime. Like we had a play grocery store and stuff like that. You know, like every pre-K class is. But anyway, while we was in there playing, and you know, um, I played, still feeling sick, thought nothing about it. I played, and then when it's time to clean up, I felt bad. Literally, I could not clean up for the, the play area. I sat down in the little chair, and I was like, <gasps> I literally barfed on my arm. All over my shoes and all over the floor. Like, who does that? That was so embarrassing because it, it was in front of all my little pre-K friends and everything. And they was like, this is something to demonstrate how they was like. Ew, 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 ew. I was so embarrassed. Like, that hot dog did me so dirty. I don't know what they did to that hot dog. But they poisoned me. They po food poisoned me. Because why did they do that? Like, so, after that, I never stressed the school lunch again, and my mom always packed me lunch after that. But I'm, I'm in homeschool, so I don't have to worry about school lunch anymore or anything like that, because I can eat my own food at home since I'm homeschooled. But yeah, now that was actually very embarrassing, but we're not going to get too much into it. But anyways, hope you guys have, have a... <sighs> But anyways, hope you guys had a blessed day or night. Bye, Apple Slices.